The markets were off a little today. The Dow finished down 15 and a half points to close at 20,935. The Nasdaq was up almost one point to finish at 5901. And the S&P 500 was down about four points to end the day at 2381. Market analysis tonight. Chris Hagan is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. So we started with gains faded later on. What happened? Yeah, so, um, you know, we were paying close attention to a, a few different sectors that, um, you know, I guess, um, you know, kind of shaped the market today. But, um, you know, healthcare, as you mentioned, was down a bit today, as well as energy stocks. But uh, financials had a decent day today. You know, no big surprise there on the heels of the Fed raising rates. We saw one piece of real economic data out today, and that was related to uh, housing for February. And that was, you know, the look at the home building. And it was solid numbers for February, and uh, housing still remains a bright spot for our economy. All right, healthcare, a large local company, Biogen, had a rough day. What happened with Biogen? Right, so Biogen, based out of Cambridge and really known for, um, you know, uh, drugs related to things like MS and, uh, and, and Alzheimer's, you know, neurological diseases. Um, you know, slower sales for a spinal muscular atrophy drug um, had the, the stock, um, you know, uh, off a bit today. A couple of analysts downgraded the stock, but really they're saying limited up, uh, upside in the near term, longer term outlook hopefully looks better. All right, Domino's Pizza in the news today, and we heard from the CEO today. Uh, what's up with Domino's? Right, so whether or not you like the, the pizza, um, you know, you got to respect what they've done on the technology front. Uh, Patrick Doyle was out today talking about uh, what they've done in terms of technology. Shares up about 17% year to date, and 60% uh, of their sales are coming from a digital source, and two thirds of those are actually coming from a handheld device. So they're really tapping into uh, millennials, and now you can order your Domino's Pizza through Alexa. Could you imagine if we had this in college, Mike? It would be great, and I'd be about 50 pounds heavier <laughs> probably right now. Right. All right, GoPro is uh, making some cuts. Uh, what happened, and how did investors like that? So stock had a good day today, but I guess it's all relative. You know, stock up about 16% today on news that they're going to lay off or, or fire 270 employees. The plan is to cut operating expenses by more than $200 million. Now, if you remember, their IPO was around uh, $24 a share. Now you're looking at $8.51. Um, you know, when I see the headlines that say uh, GoPro, the camera company, it has me have flashbacks to Kodak or Polaroid. Um, you know, if you don't have a you know, software solution, you know, you're kind of hanging on um, just by the hardware, and that's not probably where you want to be. So they want to move more towards integrating their, their, um, their, their, their GoPro cameras with uh, handheld devices, and hopefully that will be a turnaround for them. We'll see uh, how they do at GoPro. Chris Hagen from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike.